Now, you've mentioned your character development from the indies to mm -hmm. the E. What are you one of those people that kind of take notes? Because I'm sure you have to have a folder long of things that may may have gotten passed over or you didn't mm -hmm. think would work on that level. And now you have free reign to go out there and to really create whatever character. And I'm going to guess it's not far off what you were doing, which mm -hmm. work, nor should it be. Mm -hmm. But you know how much like just ideas and excitement and creativeness do you have going on right now with all right my first time out there i want to you know x y and z um a lot um it's more mental notes than i do anything so i i am one of those people like i was telling you i i learn a lot about myself by my interaction with different characters and so i'm i'm a pitch writer for sure <laughs> so while i was there i wrote i have a, a folder of pitches that i've written um and even if they never saw the light of day um i learned a lot about myself just from putting myself in that fictional situation um and I, I I really enjoyed that. So I have a tendency because I was doing that so often um, to do that when I watch now. So like if I watch AEW or or Impact or anything, I, I like to watch that character. And then sometimes in my brain, I'll catch myself just putting myself in a situation with them and be like, how would I react to them? What would I do? What would our story be? Why would we be fighting? Like all that stuff um, just kind of comes to my mind and I just start. And so I am definitely with a lot of the people that I've seen, a lot of people that I want to work with. Um, I have ideas in my head for a lot of them. <laughs> the thing that I guess that I see the most in professional wrestling now is that creative control, the creative freedom seems like they let these let everybody kind of really become themselves uh, how much of like your own personality how much of your own ideas were used um and now you have this potential of this whole other wrestling world where it seems like um so it's a kind of a two-part question how much mm -hmm. of you was fully realized up north mm -hmm. and then how uh when when you see what's happening in the outside of the in, the, in every other wrestling company and mm -hmm. all the creative freedom did it in that moment in those moments that you were there up north did you feel stifled at all at any point um i i mean at least recently a lot of my time and energy went into the tag team as a, as a whole um so a lot of my ideas and a lot of the stuff that i had tried to get across was definitely within the context of the riot squad of myself and live i would say that there's a lot of me that i don't think i don't think i ever i got a chance really to to really show and um i'm not saying that that's from no fault of my own there's probably a bunch of different things i could have done in hindsight to to really show that i don't know if stifled was the word but I did, I feel, I felt challenged a lot and I, and I, and I kind of enjoyed that. I kind of thrive on the idea of being put in a situation that's maybe not in my, not from my brain, um, and adapting to it and trying to make it work and trying to make it work for me and having it come across organically. Um, I feel like granted, while I know we all thrive on creative control, um, I think that sometimes that can that can stifle your creative process because you're just kind of always getting what you want. And I think having things thrown at you and being like, okay, now make this work, um, really kind of advances you as a performer. So, so you, so you like working with others or being put to the challenge is basically, I guess the, what the question is, do you like mm -hmm. being put to the challenge or seeing your ideas come into fruition? I think a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Um, I like to see my ideas, but I always like, I also like my ideas to be challenged. I also like to see things from people's other people's perspectives, particularly if it's someone else within the context of the storyline. Um, because, you know, we're always told like, you're the one who knows your character the best. And, um, you know, if it's just my idea and it's my idea for someone else, um, I'm not going to understand them as well as they understand them. So they might have a different idea that fits perfectly in a, in a way that I didn't even look at before. So, um, I like, I like to have that. I like to, 
I like to be heard basically is I like to be heard and to be and to to be listened even if it's to be heard and then shit on <laughs> I like to be heard and then um and to to work with people um and to be a part of the machine to make the machine create something magical oh, that's not so, so you talk about like you know you, you like pitching ideas and all that yeah. kind of stuff 